Hi everyone, um, I just wanted to share something. Uh, I feel that uh, there's a lot of people who are going through fear right now and and a lot of people are confused about what to do at this time so I just wanted to give, give some practical tips about what can be done at this point in time. Um, so and 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 i think it should be it would be helpful for you uh to uh to to do uh, for many of you who know what to do at this point of time great but those of you who have no idea what to do and how to actually go through this in faith um and how to develop your faith at this point in time uh i can i, I was thinking of giving actually a few tips where to start with and one of the first thing is that you should have complete assurance that god wants to heal you so uh, you keep hearing that over and over again uh, and people actually keep saying that um, you know sometimes it's God's will for you to go through something like that they keep throwing uh, Job at you and all that but when you see how when Jesus came to earth he healed everyone there was no questions asked okay whoever came to him were healed so especially at this point in time just make sure that whatever you think whatever you do just always understand one thing that god always wants you healed second thing is many of many times uh people actually understand we as believers usually understand uh faith and i used to be the same way as well and i used to understand faith as something which was uh, something is a mental thing right uh I used to think that when I come across a problem or some issue, I just have to uh, to to think positively or uh, ignore the circumstances or or do something like that. No, that is not what faith is. Faith is not positive thinking. That those are different. Positive thinking is based on human wisdom, but faith is based on the word of God. So uh, positive thinking, I've actually seen a lot of people actually saying this too shall pass. And that is based on the human knowledge and human wisdom, which is uh, which is there that this too shall pass. But uh, but the faith is about uh, when your the the word of God becomes more real than any of the human wisdom and even any of the things any of the medical advances or whatever it is I'm not against medicine or anything I'm not against uh, any of those but I'm saying faith is when the the word of God becomes more real to you now having said that it does not come straight away this is where the problem is so it takes time to build up your faith it takes time. It takes time to build up your faith. It does not come overnight. Now, a, a good example. So, when you're when your faith is not in the right frame or right condition or in good health, what happens is that when you're thrown in front of a problem, you find it so difficult. We find it so difficult to face that problem. If you have uh, someone who has been malnourished for a while. Uh, who has not been eating any food, you don't actually, um, like, I mean, I mean, let's say after 21 days or 20 days, you find that person malnourished, and then you feed that person, and you don't actually send him for a war the very next day, because that person needs time to recuperate or to get well. So that is the same case with faith. Um, but contrary to what people think, faith is not by just positive thinking or even in terms of, okay, today I'm going to believe whatever is given here. Faith comes by the word of God. I know in the context of that verse in Romans, uh, it, it, means, um, it means about the gospel, hearing the gospel, but that it, it actually is true. It actually is true that the faith comes by the word of God. You can test me on this. Just start hearing faith-inducing sermons. People who talk faith. People who talk about the word of God. People who have confidence in the word of God. Listen to those people. Just don't, don't even take notes for the time being. Just don't try to understand. Just listen. You will see that uh, after 5 to 10 days or maybe after 12 days or I don't know. I mean, it depends on the person and how much amount of... The, the sermons and the word of God you're listening to, you will see that it grows. 
after you read the word of God, you understand the word of God and you say, and whatever is written in the word of God, when you say, when I say word of God in the Bible, when, when, when I, when you, when, whatever you read in the Bible, whenever it becomes real to you and you're saying that this is who I am, whatever the Bible says is who I am, what happens is the faith in you keeps rising to the point that the next time you come across a problem, it will be a natural response to believe. It will be just like you you uh, you you believe for things, not believe. You respond to things in the natural. So the faith becomes natural. So uh, and, and it is not positive thinking. You can try all your positive thinking. And you can try everything, but when the time comes, it will be a problem. It will be hard for you to uh, stand against it. So I want you guys, I want to encourage you guys to make sure that you read the Word of God and um, all, you have all the time rather than, I have nothing against watching Netflix or uh, Prime or whatever, watching TV. I, I, I'm not saying that um, all that, that you should not do that, but it, your your heart is like a bucket. I, I mean, I shared this in Facebook as well, but your heart is like a bucket. And you, things which are, I mean, and you have two taps. One is fear, and one is basically the media, everything which uh, propagates fear and, every, uh, and all that. Basically, they're giving facts, but it brings fear because the world is evil. So uh, then the second thing is the word of God. Word of God always brings faith. The world always and the media, everything brings fear. Sometimes uh, people do with good intentions, but when they keep posting about the people who are dying in different places, for someone out there, it might cause fear. They're just facts, but they're just, you're inducing fear unknowingly. But that's, that's, that's something out of our control. But these are being filled up. So when you fill yourself up with fear, with fear, what happens is the next time your response will be in fear and not in faith. So this is something we have to be very careful about. So respond to respond in fear, fill yourself up with the word of God. Uh, for those of you who are strong in faith and strong and strong and you believe in the promises of God and you believe in it, speak in tongues and proclaim the word of God, speak in authority and the, the coronavirus has no authority over you. It is the devil who is behind it, but it is not God behind it. It is the devil behind it and it has no authority over you. Right? We, should, we should stamp it under his feet don't don't actually be worried about it so it will not come against us because the word of god has said as no plague shall come against us